Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a laptop that is plugged in but not charging. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this straightforward tutorial. I'll be going over the easiest way to diagnose the problem. Now let me start by saying this. The problem with your laptop or your charger can be absolutely anything, but these are the most likely scenarios and the easiest way to diagnose those most likely scenarios. So be sure to do a lot of research before you buy anything or make any decisions that are gonna cost you money. Uh, but this is a good starting point, okay? So these are most likely scenarios uh, to diagnose the most likely causes. So first and foremost, we wanna figure out whether it's the charger or the laptop battery likely, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do, I, I don't have to hold this laptop up any longer, okay? <laughs> the first, unless I need to show you something, the first thing that you wanna do is take the battery out. In most laptops, you can take the battery out. There are some that the battery is built in and that's a different story, but I'm assuming that you can take your battery out. So the first thing that you wanna do is take the battery out and unplug it. So there's nothing on the laptop, okay? Now, your laptop will most likely be off because it's not charging, so therefore your battery is probably drained. So now your battery has been pulled out and the charger has been pulled out. There's nothing powering the laptop. Hold the power button down for about 30 seconds. That's gonna drain any residual trickling power from the laptop. So now your laptop has basically no power in it, okay? Then what you wanna do, take your charger, plug it into the laptop. So you wanna plug your laptop in to the charger, okay? and try and turn it on. If your laptop turns on, then that means that most likely your battery is bad. And I'll tell you why. You have no battery in the laptop right now, okay? Your charger is powering your laptop and your laptop turned on solely based on the power from the charger. Therefore, the only component that's pretty much left for the most part is the battery. So it means most likely your battery is bad, okay? Now you can look into getting a new battery, but they're usually quite expensive. If your laptop is old, it might be worth it to consider getting a new laptop and just transferring all of your data and your software over onto that new laptop, transferring everything onto your new laptop basically. Because a battery by itself for a laptop can be really expensive and if your laptop's old it might not be worth it to replace the battery okay so consider that but it's up to you at the end of the day now the other thing the other scenario that might happen is your laptop doesn't turn on so you've done those same things you pulled out the battery you unplugged the charger you held the power button down for 30 seconds to drain the residual power then you plug the charger back into the laptop there's no battery in that laptop and you try to turn it on. If the laptop doesn't turn on, then it's most likely your charging cable, okay? It's most likely your charger that was not sending power to the battery to charge it. Now, the good thing about replacing a charger is that they're actually relatively inexpensive. So you can look into replacing your charger and hopefully that works. Now, like I said, it doesn't mean guaranteed it's the battery or guaranteed it's the charger. There can be other things that are wrong with the laptop, okay? That will cause it to be plugged in but not charging. But definitely the things that you should look into as the most likely scenarios are either the battery or the charger. Another thing is maybe your, I know there's an outlet over here so I'm just lifting my arm up, maybe your electrical outlet is not working, right? Maybe you've done all these things and you realize it's the electrical outlet, so make sure your outlet is working. Plug in a lamp to the outlet, make sure that it powers on, right? Make sure the outlet, or a phone charger, let's say, make sure your phone charges. Um, make sure the outlet's working, right? That's another thing to consider. And even if it is your charger, there are multiple parts of the charger. It can be just one part or the other. If you get a whole new charger, it can be decently inexpensive, but if you just need one tiny little part of the charger, that can be even less expensive too. So look into what your options are and troubleshoot. But this is a good starting point, okay, for trying to figure out what the problem is. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.